Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for another beautiful day, for his son's death, burial, and resurrection. I thank him just for waking us up. Thank the Lord for this ministry channel so I can go out and spread his gospel and good news to all. To draw others to Christ, closer to him. I give him the glory, honor, and praise. I thank him for a son's death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for you dying and rising for us so that we can come through you to the Father. I thank you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. It's a blessing. I I give God the glory, honor, and praise. I thank you for listening to the Holy Spirit when he led you to my channel to subscribe so you can hear his word. I thank you to all my new visitors. Many blessings to you and your family. I pray in the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth that he give every one of you an ear to hear and a heart to receive the word from the Lord. I just thank God for his goodness. His grace and his mercy is always, always new. So y'all want to share my dream. Um, today is November 24th, 2020. And I know this is something different. I'm always uploading videos whenever the Lord quickens my spirit to do so. Um, but he just touched me and the Holy Spirit led me to make a video just of his word. Not of me. Because I'm not trying to get the glory. I'm trying to do his will. I just want to do what God called me to do. I just want to share his good news. And draw others to Christ. So this is something new. That I'm doing because I'm led by the Holy Spirit to do it this way today. And I'm not going to say that he will always lead me to do it this way. But this is how he led me this morning. When I woke up. So I had a dream, y'all. Today is November 24th, 2020. And in this dream, I heard an audible voice say out loud, Precious is the name of the Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Forget not his benefits. I woke up from the dream at 1.42 a.m. I sat in my bed, you know, for a little while. I raised up, you know, I sat in my bed. And I was like, Lord, what is that? What, what are you saying? What are you telling me? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to look in the Bible? I mean, are you trying to give me something? So he popped, he not popped in my spirit, but like laid in my spirit, laid upon my spirit. Psalms 103, 2. Psalms 103, 2. And it is blessed the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And he also laid on my spirit, Revelations 4, 8, NIV version. Psalms was NIV version as well. Revelation 4, chapter 8, verse, NIV version. And each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around and within Day and night, they never stop saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Then he laid scripture Isaiah 6, chapter 3, verse NIV. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. He laid Deuteronomy 8, chapter 11, verse NIV. Be careful not to forget the Lord, your God, by falling, by failing to keep his commandments, 
and orderness and statues which I am giving you this day. So I laid back down and I went to sleep again, y'all. And so my second dream that I had the same day, November 24, 2020, my second dream the Lord gave me as I was sleeping. In this dream, I was standing on a balcony looking down at someone. He was a caramel complexion. His hair was cut very low or maybe even bald, bald head. I really couldn't tell because he had something white partially covering, you know, covering his hair, like covering his head. And he was slim in stature, wearing a white outfit. Um, someone else was on the balcony with me. That person said to the person that we were looking at from the balcony, Janelle said you like yours fluffy and light. The person that we were looking at from the balcony held something up in his right hand which appeared to be light golden in color and sort of flat between his index finger and his thumb while placing it into his mouth and said yeah I like my fluffy and light read Revelation 4 through 16 chapters so that's what that dream was y'all um, so I um, got up I couldn't even lay back down after that one. I got up out of my bed and I came into my prayer room and you know I prayed and I was like, oh Lord, I had to anoint myself with oil and I took a communion and I said, got on my threshing floor and I said, Lord Jesus, I need you to tell me what this means. And so I was praying and worshiping and crying and praying and worshiping and crying and just asking the Lord to tell me what he means, what he want me to say, what he want me to do with this. Revelation 4, 16, 4 chapters through 16 chapters. And so I, I got my book, my Bible, and I opened it up to 4 chapter through 16 chapter. And so this, I kept reading, you know, and I got to the 16th chapter. Is about the seven bowls of God's wrath. And it says, and it reads as, Then I heard a loud voice from the temple telling the seven angels, Go and pour out on earth the seven bowls of wrath of God, of the wrath of God. So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth. And harmful and painful sores came upon the people who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became like blood of corpse. And everything, you no, know, and every living thing died that was in the sea. The third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water. And they became blood. And I heard an angel in charge of the waters say, Just are you, O Holy One, who is and who was, for you brought these judgments. Verse 6 For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets. And you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, 
Lord God Almighty, true and just are your judgments. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were scorched by the fierce heat and they cursed the name of God who had power over these plagues. They did not repent and give him glory. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast and its kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in anguish and cursed the God of heaven for their pain and sores. They did not repent of their deeds. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates and its water was dried up to prepare the way from the kings for the kings from the east and I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet three unclean spirits like frogs for they are demonic spirits performing signs who go abroad to the kings of the whole world to assemble them for battle the great day of God the Almighty behold I am coming like a thief blessed is the one who stays awake keeping his garments on that he may not go about naked and be seen exposed and they assembled them at the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon so in Revelation 16 16 is speaking about the battle of Armageddon and the summary that I have right here the summary is a great conflict occurs at a place called Armageddon sometimes spelled Armageddon the location of several battles in the Old Testament the analysis is Armageddon is the name of the place where the kings of the earth gathered, gathered to battle against God the Hebrew name means mountain of Megiddo M-E-G-I-D-D-O and Megiddo is a place in northern Israel it is unlikely that Revelation uses the name to give readers geographical information about the location of the battle throughout the book Hebrew names have been used in a symbolic sense for example John calls false teachers Baal and Jezebel not because these are their real names but because they are like Baal and Jezebel of the Old Testament who are, who are idolaters in Numbers 31st chapter 16 verse and in um, 16 verse and 1st Kings 16 chapter 31st verse later John says that the city set on seven hills that is in Rome is called Babylon Revelation 17 chapter 9 verse this does not give readers geographical information but lets them see the similarities between Rome and Babylon as oppressive powers the symbolism in the name Armageddon is that Megiddo was a place where opponents of God met their defeat. An invading army of Canaanites were defeated there. King Josiah was killed there when he refused to heed God's warning. And the place was associated with mourning. Like mourning. Judges 5th chapter 19 verse and 2nd Chronicles 35th chapter 
through 20, 35th chapter 22nd verse and Zechariah 12th chapter 11 verse. To say that the forces opposing God gathered at Armageddon means that they gather for their own defeat. When the battle is described in a later vision, readers learn that victory comes through the power of the word that Christ speaks. 19 chapter, 15 verse. So Revelations 16 chapter, 16 verse says, And they assembled them at the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. So y'all, the Lord is, the Lord is, y'all need to read Revelations and pray and repent and seek God, y'all. Because the Lord is coming back. He's returning. He's going to return. Oh yeah, he's going to return. He's going to return, y'all. Sooner than you think. And you may think you got time to play and do what you want to do, you know. Follow the flesh, live for the flesh. But you, you really don't. Y'all need to seek Christ. Seek the Lord, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah. The one true God, the only God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Our God. Who was, who is, who is to come. Just fall on your face, y'all. Seek him. And I'm sharing this, blowing my trumpet. Spreading this out. Doing what the Lord asked me to do. He gave me dreams and visions and speak audibly. His angels speak audibly. Um, in my dreams. He tell me when to get up and go read his word. When to go in my prayer room and get on my threshing floor and start praising and worshiping. And speaking in my prayer tongues. Interceding for others in the spiritual realm. And I listen to him. He quickened my spirit when I need to fast and pray. Y'all, we living in the end of times. You know, he's pouring out on all of his, all of his children, visions and dreams and the gift of prof, the gift of prophesy. And so when he give it to you, y'all need to write y'all dreams down on a, like in your prayer journal, your little prayer journal or your dream journal and um, record it, you know, or do it audibly on your phone. Wake up and say it on your phone audibly so you can hear the voice, audible, you know, audible voice on message that you leave on your phone so you can write it down later when you wake all the way up. And pray and ask God, what, what do you want you to do with that? You know, is it just for you? Is it for you to give to his people to warn his people of what's to come? Because that's what I do. I do. I, I don't want to do nothing without God leading me to do it. I used to do it on my own. But I prayed and asked God to change my heart, to humble my heart, so I could follow Him. Because I know I can't do it without Him. I only can do it with the Lord. Because He is my, He is my rock and my fortress. He is my bread of life, the spirit of truth. He's my refuge from the storm. He's my provider, my protection. He enlarges the path under my feet so I won't slip. He's my lion of Judah, y'all. He is my rose of Sharon. And I just bless him. I bless his holy name. I bless his holy name. And I just give him the glory and honor and the praise. I'm sorry y'all. I'm just crying. I'm just so full right now. Because he's been showing me all these dreams of dreams. You know. Just dreams and dreams and dreams. And giving me visions and stuff. And I just want to take heed to the voice of the Lord. And do what he asked me to do. Do what he tell me to do. I want his will to be done. I always pray, your will be done, Father. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Papa. As it is in heaven. So y'all, oh, please forgive me. Oh, Lord, crying like a baby. <laughs> I have the prayer of salvation. For those of you who want to give your life to Christ right now, you can. I have the prayer of salvation and I'll say it and you can repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness of my sins. I believe 
you died and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Praise the Lord. Bless his holy name. So in Romans 10 chapter, 9 verse, NIV. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 chapter, 13 verse. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts, second chapter, 38 through 39 verses. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus the Christ, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off. For all whom the Lord, our God, will call. So y'all, just listen to the voice of God. Humble yourself and seek Him. And He will direct your path. He will not lead you wrong. He'll bless you with so many blessings. He'll pour out His blessings that you can't even contain. You know, blessings that you never thought of. Maybe blessings that you done prayed about, but you was like, Lord, I, that's a whole lot. But that's what I pray for. But he'll give you more than what you even prayed for. You know, what you can't even imagine. You couldn't even imagine it. And that's what, he, that's what, he gonna, that's what he'll bless you with. He'll overflow you with blessings. And I know... That he's blessing me abundant and overflowing. I know he's working stuff out for me in the spiritual realm. Because he has a blessing for me that I can't even imagine. That I that I can't even think of, you know. It's just amazing. And I'm excited. And 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 I and I um believe and receive his blessings for my life. Oh yeah, I believe and I receive his blessings for my life. <clears throat> I give God the glory, the honor, and the praise in all things. All things. Cause he's worthy to be praised y'all I thank him for using me you know just to give his word to his people um because he is amazing he is awesome he's the only true God the only true God holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come Revelations 4 8 y'all Revelations 4 8 so y'all I pray that we just continue to walk in the fruits of the Spirit, which is in Galatians 5th chapter. And so I decree and declare that we will walk in the fruits of the Spirit, Lord. In the fruits of the Spirit, um, Galatians 5th chapter, 22nd through 23rd verse, King James Version. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So y'all pray and ask the Lord to keep you. So that you will walk in the fruits of the Spirit daily. And you will walk in His will. Father, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I pray right now. Thank you for giving your only son, Jesus Christ, who died. The Christ of Nazareth, who died on the cross. And who was rose, risen from the dead, Father. I thank you. I thank you for his death, burial, and resurrection. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father, that you would decrease me and increase you and me, Father. Plant your thoughts in my mind so that your kingdom will advance on earth. I decree and I declare that the husband that you have for me, and I will always walk in the fruits of the Spirit, Father. Father, speak through me. I pray that your word was a was a, um, a blessing for many, that you give them an ear to hear and a heart to receive, Father. I thank you that your powerful anointing is on every every word attached to, that came out of my mouth, Father. That is attached to every word that came out of my mouth, Papa. I thank you, Father, that you let your kingdom come. And your will be done in our lives. I thank you for being in this atmosphere right now, Father. Letting your presence be, be known and felt. Even through, even, through, even through the internet, Papa. 
even through the internet. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your manner that we pray for that you place upon us. That we prophesy your word to your people in Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth name, the Messiah name. I thank you, Lord, for blessing us with the ability to speak to things, speak them into existence, Father, with the power and anointing that you've given us through Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, through his precious blood. And I decree and declare right now exponential growth, exponential growth and success in the marketplace, Father. In the name of Jesus for us, Father, for your people, the ones that's seeking you, Father, following their faith, worshiping and praising you, Father. Exponential growth, Father. The one that wants you, the one that wants to receive you, Father. Father, I just thank you, Father, for your wealth and riches will be in the house and in his righteousness endures forever. That's um, Psalms 112. 112, third verse. Wealth and riches will be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. Father, I just thank you and I rebuke and bind and send your judgment fire, Father. Over anything in a spiritual realm that's not of you, Father, that's coming against us, your people, your children. I rebuke and bind that and I decree and I declare, Father, that generational curses and racial injustice and hatred, jealousy, wickedness, in the earth, double mindedness, lukewarm spirit, um, sickness, disease, um, witchcraft. The anti-spirit, the spirit of um, divination and python of Delphi, Father. Um, I rebuke and bind and break the head off the serpent, Father. I rebuke and bind and did decree and declare and send your judgment fire down, Father, to burn down any anything, Father, any anything um, that comes against like that that sends a wide range of conditions, like anything in the spirit that sends a wide range of conditions, Father, to affect our mood, our thinking, our behavior, Papa, such as. The spirit of loneliness, jealousy, greed, suicide, envy, hate, fornication, adultery, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, clinically depressed, and anxiety disorder, Father, attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity disorder, dementia, obsessive compulsive disorder, autism, autism, Father, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Father, I rebuke and bind that in the name of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, by the precious blood of Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth, Father. Because you said in your word that whatever we bind on earth, you bind in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth, you loose in heaven. Father, so I loose right now. I decree and I declare and loose this right now in the name of Jesus. By his precious blood, covered in his precious blood, Father. I loose, Father. Decree and declare. Destiny connect relationships in all of our lives, Father. That we will, that we will be catapulted um, into our next step of our destined future that you have for us, Father. Um... That you have for us to walk in, Father, which is healing and health and love, joy, happiness, peace, prosperity, faith, um, faith in your word and passion and passion for prayer and worship to you, Papa, and compassion for your people. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray um, for all authority. Um, I rebuke and bind, Father, people killing one another. Yes, Lord, I rebuke and bind that in Jesus the Christ of Nazareth name, by the power of his precious blood. People killing one another, Father. I pray for people who are jobless, who are homeless, Father. Um, I pray for our sons and our daughters. I pray that they humble themselves, Father, and let you increase in them. And you decrease them. Let them inc let them decrease, Father, and you increase in them. Father, I pray for, for um, sexually abused survivors. Please heal them, Father, in every area of their life. In every area of their lives, Father. I pray for our nation. For the sick, shut in, and the incarcerated, that your will be done, Father. Your will be done, Father. I pray for your hedge of protection around our families, Father, and angels encamp around us a double portion. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your word. For you are a blessing to us, Father, and I just thank you. I thank you, Father, and I pray over our people that's praying for husbands and wives, Father. I pray over our Husbands and our wives that you have for us. Our kingdom. Husbands and wives. Kingdom divine. Kingdom husbands and wives that you have for us, Father. That you just keep them in your will, Father. Let them see us in the spiritual realm. So they'll know who we are. If we haven't met them yet. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, that um, there'll be 
a representation of you. That they are walking your, in your will, Father. That they are love, honor, cherish, and respect us. Each, you know, we all love, honor, cherish, and respect one another. Um, that the women would be Proverbs 31 women to their husbands, and the husband would be men of God like you called them to be. So that they would love us, and we would honor and respect them. Father, I thank you. I just thank you and bless your holy name, Father. That um, we would just keep ourselves, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, keep ourselves humble. So that you can let your will be done in our lives, Lord. Father, I pray this prayer. And I come into agreement with everybody who's agreeing with me in this prayer. I come into agreement with them, Father, in the spiritual realm. I touch and agree. Even through this through this internet, through this laptop, Father. I touch and agree, Papa. In the precious name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah. And may you cover it. Every word that came out of my mouth in your anointing. And cover it with the precious blood of Jesus. And seal it in Jesus' name and his blood. Amen, Father. Amen. So y'all, I'ma put up my the information on my, you know, in my description. And I will post my Gmail address. So if you have any prayer requests, I pray over them. I will pray over them for you. That the Lord, his will be done in your life in every area. Um, many blessings to everyone who took time out of the busy schedule to listen to what thus says the Lord on my ministry channel that he blessed me with. So y'all keep me in prayer as well. And many blessings. Many, many blessings to you. Enjoy your day. Be blessed. I'll see you again when the Lord have me post something else up in my um, ministry um, YouTube channel.